Hello and welcome to Cloud Force Vibes. My name is Bobby and this is how I grow orchids and carnivorous plants. Force Vibes. I have a box here from Tarzan and I'm not going to waste any time. I am so excited to see what's in here. Um, I got a couple plants last week and yeah, they're here. So we will dig right in. As we know, Tarzan's plants are always packed amazingly. They really are. Got a heat pack in there, still warm. And I just did the Express two day. I always do it and it's always on time. Here we go. So Tarzan, you always get a nice invoice. You always get um, you know, literature with the coupon code for almost always 10 or 15% off your next purchase. I got two plants. I did order three, but they were out of one, unfortunately. So we actually have a little bit of a dendrobium haul. Um, <laughs> there was a Lepanthes, but again, I, they were sold out, unfortunately, by the time I clicked buy. So I'm going to get these opened up a bit. Excuse the noise. So, again, we have two plants here, and they are both dendrobiums. I am going to start with this one. Oh, wow, look at that. That is so cool. Now, this is Dendrobium sp Myanmar. So, a species, Dendrobium from Myanmar, otherwise not named. It's warm to cool grower. It'll grow in bright shade, and it's just an awesome little miniature. Um, definitely full of bloom. Is it full of Yeah, it is. These blooms are open. They're just... Oh, kick the camera, why don't you? They're fading, but they are open. I'll have to get a closer look at that once we get in the grow room. But nice little division. I'm going to have to get this onto a new mount very soon. It's pretty cool. Um, the second one is a plant I already have, but it's a very, very sad plant in my collection. So I've been hoping to get a nicer one. Wow, that's awesome. And this one sure is. This is a lot of people's favorite warm to cool grower, Dendrobium senilli. I do have one, and this one actually looks it's got a lot more growth than the other one, so I'm going to have to get this again remounted here very soon and try to push this on. Really neat little plant. Um, now hopefully, maybe one of these days, I'll finally get to see blooms. So I'm going to get these plants in there under better light and we'll take a quick look at them before I put them away. So we are back. I'm in the grow tent, I'm sorry, the grow room with our two new orchids and here is a closer look at them. This is our Dendrobium senilli. Nice and fuzzy and weird looking. Some of my favorite orchids are fuzzy and weird looking so it does have some decent roots on there. They're valid roots. I don't see any growing tips but this is a 
orchid that goes dormant or semi-dormant so right now it seems to be that way and the other one here like I said actually came in bloom so little tiny green and just the faintest tinge of purple in there really hard to get close up of but um oop. but a neat little plant nonetheless and it has four canes total one little baby one down here and these three so we will be getting this out of this pot here soon I just gave both of them just the slightest trickle of water um, just enough to kind of wet the surface of the moss because they are very very dry so I know they're resting but even resting types do get a teeny weeny bit of water so I'm gonna let them sit here and dry out really good for the next hour or so they got just a tiny taste of dew or what have you so <laughs> that's what we're trying to simulate at least anyhow I'm gonna um, hop off let these guys do their thing and I will be back and show you where they end up so we're back here in the tent this is where I've stuck this little Myanmar species right here behind my maxillaria it's kinda underneath our new Chlysocentrin and next to some other dendrobiums that rest I think it's gonna do just fine here um, it is in bloom again I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this very well it is tiny but it does have the cutest of little green blooms it's got some gentle striping on it and I do think I really like this plant I can't wait to see how it does I really really am excited and then excuse me because I'm just standing in here amongst this giant Nepenthes so we have to part the moss and get back here and you can see where I've hung the dendrobium senili um, it's under here with some bright loving plants now the other one lives here and it gets some more indirect kind of bright light this guy I'm gonna treat a little bit different at least for now um, I really want to see if I can culture both of these a little bit differently and see if maybe one does better than the other or if I can figure out how to finally keep this thing happy by using both of these as different kind of variables in an experiment per se so those are my two new Tarzane plants I am really excited about them I hope you guys are too and until next time happy growing and please continue to stay safe see ya